love, compassion, joy, equalness, as we say. The equalness of love and compassion that reaches out to all beings the same. And you begin to experience that as reaching out towards you. And you see this as the actual living embodiment of those very qualities of love and compassion, sympathy, empathy, and so forth. This could be, of course, a very wonderful experience. But it also could be a very daunting experience. Um, perhaps for two reasons, which are basically the same reason. One is that the experience of boundless love and compassion means a love and compassion that reaches out to all beings the same. And you will perceive that. And you will perceive that that embodiment of love and compassion reaches out to the most malevolent and malignant individual you can imagine in the world. Try and imagine somebody as bad as you can imagine and then imagine it worse than that. And then realize that the power of compassion, the being that in a way embodies that compassion, and it will seem like it is a being that is embodying that compassion, values them in exactly the same way as they value you. And you may think that's good, but that's not how it would feel. It would feel that squirming inside you, more than a squirming that says, I'm worth more than this person. Real living compassion should value me more than it values them. But of course it doesn't. And that's a shattering experience. It's shattering for ego because your life is based on ego. It's based on measurement. Viewing this against that. Thank you.